Low AMH. Is there any hope for a bad egg? My name is Dr. Phil Boyle, and I want to share some data with you from my practice to give you an idea what do we do with this diagnosis. We know from past experience we can expect an overall 50% live birth rate for couples generally in our program. That drops to about 32% if there's a history of previous IVF where the average female age is 37, and we can get 80% success rate for recurrent miscarriages. But we wanted to look specifically if you have very low AMH, um, how effective is our treatment in that case? This couple presented in May 2012 and they demonstrate our treatment very well. She had a low AMH of 3.2 picomoles per litre or in international units 0.45 nanograms per mil. They had conceived and miscarried once before. They were both in their mid-30s and they had four failed cycles of IVF, three using their own eggs and one with donor eggs, all unsuccessful. In total, they'd been trying to conceive unsuccessfully for five years. So I'm sure you'd agree their outlook is bleak. In their history, everything was normal apart from mild endometriosis that was detected by laparoscopy, but hysteroscopy was normal, semen analysis normal, routine bloods were normal, and no real explanation could be found other than reduced ovarian reserve and poor egg quality. So we work with a fertility chart, ultrasound follicle tracking and blood tests to get a good handle on the assessment of a cycle as well as how to manage subfertile cycles. Her fertility pattern showed abnormal brown bleeding and her blood test results seven days after her ovulation event were quite low, indicating suboptimal ovulation. We applied our multifactorial restorative approach this involves a combination of dietary strategies, nutritional strategies, immune modifying treatment, hormone balancing tailored for the individual, uh, assessment of adrenal function and treatment if that is needed. And these were all important for this couple. So we achieved a balanced cycle where we proved follicle rupture by ultrasound releasing two eggs with our treatment and blood test results exceeding expectations consistent with the twin ovulation. And very quickly, this couple achieved a positive pregnancy test. An ultrasound scan at seven weeks and three days showed a beautiful pregnancy with a strong heartbeat. It was very important in this couple's case to continue treatment throughout the pregnancy where we provided monitoring and hormone support as well as immune modifying treatment. And she went full term. Baby was seven pounds, 12 ounces, delivered in 2013 by cesarean section and everything went fine. This couple were incredibly generous and they went public on our Facebook page. Remember, they had four failed attempts at IVF and finally achieved a pregnancy naturally with our multifactorial restorative approach. They even went to the newspapers with little Hector showing him off as you would. Remarkably, they had a second successful pregnancy, resuming treatment once again in our program. It helped them to get pregnant and to have a full term normal weight pregnancy. So the question is, was this just a bit of good luck or on a population basis, what are the chances of success? So I looked at our data for every couple who came to us during 2015, from the 1st of January 2015 until the 1st of January 2016, and 26 couples met our study criteria with low AMH below 3.5 uh, picomoles per liter. Um, the average female age was 37.1. They were just under three years trying to conceive and quite a difficult history where nearly 40% had repeated failed IVF attempts. Uh, over half of the couples had never conceived naturally and nearly 70% had no previous live birth. So I'm sure you'll agree this is a difficult population and many fertility clinics would argue there's little point in trying to conceive, especially naturally with a picture like this. In your case, probably donor eggs or maybe adoption. But what were our outcomes with treatment? 
Remarkably, over half of the couples became pregnant. We had an overall 35% live birth rate with 19% miscarriage rate. So considering the challenging group we were looking at, this is a pretty good outcome and reasonable and worth trying. We included every couple in our analysis who came for two or more medical consultations. Nobody was excluded, so these are real numbers from real patients. Of equal importance was not just getting pregnant, but also what about the health of the pregnancies? And we found that the average birth weight was seven pounds, two ounces, or 3.2 kilos. There were no twin pregnancies, no premature delivery, and mums and babies were healthy. So in short, yes, there is hope, even for a bad egg. Thank you for listening. If you want to find out more, check out neofertility.ie. Bye for now.